the main purpose of having a survey is to ask people questions and to collect their data, their responses. But what is often neglected is to have good instructions that make the survey accessible to your participants. In the baseline survey, you will find a few bits and pieces where we've tried to include instructions that help applicants or candidates to understand what and how they should answer. For example, if you look at the demographics, we first mention after that very long list of information with from the information letter and the consent form, okay, first we would like to ask you some demographic information. Um, this is just to ease participants into the next section. Then we also inform them that they can skip any question that they might not want to reply to. So we discuss the sort of hidden settings behind this part of the questionnaire. Another typical uh, way of instructing people is at the beginning of the personality questionnaire. Here you see, okay, before the main purpose of our study, this is just made up, but again, you sort of take the participants by the hand and you explain them, all right, this part of the study fits in the bigger picture, like such and so. It just takes one sentence, but you're clearly indicating the flow of the survey to the participants. We would like to ask you some questions about your personality, giving away the topic. Not, you don't always want to do this, but in this case, it is not very um, impactful. Briefly, there's a statement about how people can reply, and then try not to spend too much time thinking about your responses. Follow your first instinct and move on. This is also to encourage the people who take these questions very seriously to not linger too long with each question. People vary enormously in how long they take to complete surveys. Some people complete a, a survey in five minutes and others for the same survey might take them 15 or 20 minutes. Um, you just want to give the people who would take a long time to think about your questions a bit of a break here, um, especially with these types of attitudinal or personality type trait questions. Um, it is fine if people answer them relatively instinctively and do not ponder on every instance in which they may or not uh, have shown the behavior relevant to that question. This is just to show you how you can instruct participants and can make the survey uh, a bit more of a humane experience.